Hey guys, Nintendrew here, and yes, it's time for the next installment in my rarest game series. This time, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System takes the stage. In this video, we'll be covering the top 5 rarest and most sought after titles in the Super Nintendo library. So let's get right into it. Alright, first things first, as always this list will be based on the value each game commands in the used game market. Of course value is not a perfectly reliable metric for measuring a title's rarity, but it is currently the best method we have and it's the method that I've chosen to use for this list. And as with the other videos in this series, this top 5 list will not include any special edition titles which are otherwise available for cheap, like the Exertainment Mountain Bike Rally and Speed Racer Combo Cart, or titles which were otherwise not available in store shelves like the Star Fox Super Weekend cartridge. This list will only cover titles which were available to the public on store shelves. So with those details out of the way, first up is Mega Man X3. If you're at all familiar with the Mega Man series, you've probably at least heard of the Mega Man X subseries, which started with Mega Man X on the Super NES. And as the name would imply, Mega Man X3 is the third and final Super Nintendo entry. This title follows in the footsteps of its predecessors as a run and gun action platformer, and is the first entry in the series to feature Zero as a playable character. At the time of this video, Mega Man X3 is worth right around $200. Reviews were generally positive, and critics seemed to enjoy the new entry's gameplay, despite its clear similarities to those titles which came before it. As far as its rarity is concerned, it's not exactly clear why this game is in such high demand, but seeing as it was released in early 1996, the same year as the release of the Nintendo 64, Mega Man X3 may have just had a relatively lower attach rate as its console was nearing the end of its production run. Combine that with a more recent interest of collectors to complete a Mega Man series collection, and you've got yourself a recipe for scarcity. Next is Final Fight Guy. If you've watched my video on the rarest Nintendo 64 titles, or if you're otherwise aware of the story behind Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut, the history behind this title's rarity should sound familiar. Final Fight Guy is an enhanced version of Final Fight, an earlier Super Nintendo title, but for the majority of its print run, this re-release was only available as a rental game from Blockbuster Video in North America. This means the only way collectors could get a hold of the game was to buy it from the store after they quit renting out Super Nintendo titles, or from a store liquidation when they went out of business entirely. Today, Final Fight Guy fetches prices upwards of $220 on the used game market. Much like Sculptor's Cut, this re-release is very similar to the original with just a few extra features, namely some power-ups and difficulty settings. But the title's very limited launch has secured itself a place on this list. Next up, Pocky and Rocky 2. Pocky and Rocky is a unique shoot-em-up series where players take on the role of protagonist Pocky and throw cards at oncoming enemies to progress through branching environments. Additionally, the game features a variety of familiars, such as Rocky the Raccoon, to lend assistance through each level with special abilities. Like the first title, Pocky and Rocky 2 can also be played as a real-time co-op game with a friend. Although both this title and its predecessor are considered cult classics with a strong demand in the retro game scene, this sequel is far more valuable with a current market value of over $250. The exact cause of this title's scarcity is not certain, but as a little-known sequel in an already obscure series, it's not too much of a stretch to assume Pocky and Rocky 2 was likely published in pretty low numbers. Next on the list is Hagane The Final Conflict. Hagane is a side-scrolling action platformer in which you play as a cyborg ninja on a quest to rid the world of an opposing ninja faction. Much like Final Fight Guy, this title is rumored to have been at least a timed exclusive through Blockbuster Video. The game is most apparently pretty visually stunning, and appears to be inspired by similar titles like those in the Shinobi series. Just five years ago, you might have been able to come across a copy for under 100 bucks, but today, Hagane goes for right around $620. What a jump! In addition to its very limited print run, Hagane is respected as a bit of a hidden gem in the Super Nintendo library, with compelling gameplay and responsive controls, resulting in highly inflated demand. And finally, at number one, the rarest title on the Super Nintendo is Arrow Fighters. Originally launched as an arcade title in 1992, Arrow Fighters was ported to the Super Nintendo two years later in 94. Rumor has it that this port was published in very limited numbers leading to widespread rarity. The game is a traditional vertical scrolling shoot 'em up title, which tasks the player with taking on an unknown alien force bent on total world domination. Today, the game is worth a staggering $750. Although Aero Fighters was known as one of the most accurate and faithful arcade-to-home console conversions, 
Its limited print run and relative obscurity has made this game a very sought after collector's item and has solidified it as the number one rarest title on the platform. Okay guys, that's about it for this top five rarest games video. I really hope you enjoyed this, this latest entry. And if you did, please consider subscribing to Nintendo for all sorts of cool gaming content. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, thanks again for checking out the video and for making it all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed. As always, I've got links to all my social media in the description below. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, that sort of thing. And if you'd like to help out even more, I've got a link to my Patreon on the right side of your screen. Otherwise, I hope you'll look out for the next video. Take care.